637, we head over to Mike Eppel now for another check-in with business news. Mike. Morning, Tammy. Busiest shopping day of the year coming up today. That's the forecast from Moneris, the payment solutions company that uh, does all of the debit and credit card transactions. They're predicting 600 transactions per second coming up today across Canada. So uh, be prepared for some pretty big uh, uh, crowds at the shopping malls. This is the key time of year, though, for the retail sector, which 2017 has seen a huge amount of volatility. But the indications are that uh, Canadians have been spending at record levels, even as debt loads continue to climb. Now, is the Bank of Canada going to be raising, <laughs> excuse me, interest rates early next year? That's some discussion this morning after some better than forecast economic signals in yesterday on retail spending, on inflation. Today we'll get a GDP report for October, which could show that the Canadian economy started the fourth quarter of the year on a very strong note. As the economy continues to gain strength and inflation goes up, Bank of Canada says might want to hit the brakes a little bit on that. And the talk is they might be looking at an interest rate increase of a quarter of 1% middle of next month. War of words and a request for a retra public retraction of some comments made by the uh, CEO of Loblaws earlier this week after Loblaws admitted to uh, a price fixing uh, situation in the uh, packaged bread market. Uh, the CEO of Sobeys, Michael Medline, sent a letter to the CEO of Loblaws saying don't throw everybody under the bus under this uh, story. As uh, Michael Medline says, there's no indication that Sobeys was actually involved. The Globe and Mail were uh, getting a hand on this uh, letter sent by Medline to uh, Galen Weston over at Loblaws. And that story will develop over the course of the next month with uh, uh, the investigation continuing at the Competition Bureau. Bitcoin plunging as much as 21% overnight to a low below $13,000. Started the week at 19500 so huge volatility in cryptocurrencies. And the Toronto stock market today starts at a record high just before the Christmas break. We'll send it back to the studio.